Alrighty folks, we're trying out the, finally got some sunshine. Lordy, it's, we've had rain, goodness gracious. Now I know we've not been as bad off as a lot of places, but um, finally getting the tomatoes out to start hardening them off. As you can see here, As you can see, folks, these guys are ready to be hardened off and sent off to their next house, next home. Starting to venture off a little bit up there right now. Well, on this second, guys, we have one of our broke basket. We need to swap that basket out. Hold on, don't bring no more. Get another basket in there. We ain't got no more down here. We ain't got no more down here. Where are they? In the barn. Or the barn. I'll go get one. I'll go get it. They get these stuff. Here. Let me do it. That way it gets done. these ones what we'll do we'll just carry them back inside we fix these here these are just cherry tomatoes we fix those to where we could take them in and out and uh, mom Carolyn's mom they can hang them up and they should just come rolling over the sides Look at the camera. What Folks, Carolyn come up with a genius idea. <laughs> Instead of using, we didn't have a whole lot of the greenhouse plastic left. She said, what about our shade cloth? That way we can pull it over. And when the wind gets up, they can just run a piece of rope around the bottom there. That'll keep it from blowing over. 
they'll still get light coming through I mean still they'll take it off of the morning and then when it comes time for the plants to go back in they can pull the shade cloth over and then they can secure it down good idea she had Dixie's holding it down now to keep it from blowing away <laughs> Okay, little girl, hop off just a minute. Let's figure out how we're going to do this. Where's Noelle? She was going up the thing there. You can't do that on camera, can you? No, you can't. I think that'll work out pretty good, folks. Still left a little bit of light in, but like I said, this will just be after time's up for hardening, they can pull that over. We're getting storms this evening, and I think actually supposed to according to my weather thing it's been known to be wrong before years ago before all the technology we got now and everything grandpa he farmed all of his life folks and farming it depends a lot on the weather I can remember I was little. He always said, take like hay, you mow it down, you're going to need a few days of dry weather in order to get it up so it'll cure out. Or planting something. Grandpa always told me, he said, if anybody's going to go to hell for lying, it'll be a weatherman. But yeah, he'd, he'd always snicker after he said that. Sorry if any of my subscribers weathermen. I know your technology a lot better now. Yeah, that'll work out pretty good. And then we've got some rope. They can run around the bottom of it there, tight. And the plant should be secure in there. Good idea, Shug. All right, take it back off now. Got a bubble bee trapped in there. Hmm. All righty. Simple as that. Good job. All right, what we're going to do, we'll show you how we're going to do the shade cloth here. I think we showed you yesterday. We got the plants out. Yeah, we got the plants out there. They've been out for two hours. Yeah. Almost three, but tomorrow we'll do it for three hours. We'll get the camera set up. You can see our swarm up there still. We got two swarms. Jason did. Okay, you want over there? Hopefully you can see me.
Alrighty folks, this is Carolyn and Dan putting the shade cloth on. This is where she's been hardening them off this time. And then let me move this one to made out of the way here. They go ahead and pull it on down. And then we'll show you here we got a piece of plastic. If they're calling for rain, which is just about every day, they'll put that on top of there. I think we may have showed you that all, all they do, they pull that over top of the shade cloth here. That's all right, Shug. They, they just goes over top right there and then they clip it on. And then whatever rain, if it's a pouring down, which we've been getting a lot lately, it helps protect the plants. Shug, y'all gonna show them taking it off? Yeah. And then we'll talk to Carolyn here and see if it this was easier or harder. This is what we do with the morning. This is what they do with the morning. They take it off. Take it off, let it sit out till the storms start to come. Um, we'll interview Carolyn here in just a minute. Don't you give me a look like that. All right, guys, put it on. We're getting ready to go over to Mom's to eat. And um, they're giving a good chance of thunderstorms today. And then, Lord willing, tomorrow, a bunch of these plants will be leaving here to their new home. Now, let's step around over here and we'll ask Carolyn. Shug, be honest. Was it better the old way or this way? This way. So this is gonna be a keeper. Yeah. We'll put at the end of the video what we used to have to do okay it's it's a lot of work <laughs> this is a lot easier that there was a whole lot quicker even even if they got to put well they're going to be putting the plastic on folks because we don't know they're giving storms we'll go ahead and show them here you step around here This is just a spare piece of greenhouse plastic we had. Now they'll just pull that over, get it straightened up here. It's down over protecting plants. And then we'll be using these clips here. We stole some of them for us putting that on and We'll finish working on that there after a while. Yes, we've definitely got to wash it. You can see all the dirt and the mud that's on it there. I'll get on the inside with the water hose. Lord will help us out there on the outside. And then this stuff here, it can breathe and um, helps keep it a lot cooler in there. Alrighty, folks, we'll have some, Carolyn said the old way at the end of the video.
Alrighty, folks, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope everyone has a blessed Memorial Day. And I'd like to thank to all the ones that gave their lives the ultimate sacrifice to keep this country free. Folks, hope you all have a blessed week. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Stay safe. And watch out for the fools out there. Thank you all for watching again. God bless.